Google just made Nano Banana 10 times more powerful overnight. The original Nano Banana literally changed how we edit images with AI, but this new version is on a completely different level. It's called Nano Banana Pro and it's powered by Google's new Gemini 3 model. And what this means is there are now capabilities that simply didn't exist before. Things that open up real professional use cases that the first version couldn't handle. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the four big improvements of this new model compared to the old Nano Banana and the right way to access it because how you access it actually matters. Let's get into it. So there's four major improvements with Nano Banana Pro. I'm gonna walk you through each one and show you exactly what they mean for your business. Let's start with the one that honestly had me the most excited. And the first major improvement is that we can finally add perfect text to our images. And this is something that the old model really struggled with. So I was actually looking back through my old Gemini chats here when I was testing out the first Nano Banana model. I tried uploading one of our YouTube thumbnails and asked it to simply change the text. So from save hours to chat GBT agent, you can see it creates a model and confidently changes the text, but here clearly chat GBT is spelt wrong. And this thing happened over and over again with the first Nano Banana model. It would confidently add text to the images, but quite often it would just add words that did not make any sense. Now, if we take a look at this example of an image created with the new Nano Banana Pro model and hands off to the Google team for coming up with quite a clever example here, one of the most notoriously difficult phrases to say, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? And here they've added the prompt to create an image showing the phrase made out of wood chucked by a would chuck. And what's insane here is, first of all, not like the previous example, it didn't make a single spelling mistake and leave out any letters. But also, this isn't even just using a standard font. This is actually creating letters out of an object, which is absolutely nuts. And this looks to be also working so much better when updating text of an already existing image. So here I tried with the Hollywood sign saying replace the text with Builders Club, which is the conference that we run here in Berlin. And you can see that it also absolutely nailed it. It kept the rest of the scene identical, the clouds, the hills, and just updated the letters. And even here it had to add additional letters in because there's more letters in Builders Club than in Hollywood, but it did this without a problem whatsoever. So what does this unlock for your business? Social media graphics, ad mockups, YouTube thumbnails, all with perfect text. You wanna test five different headlines for an ad? Just ask it to update the text. No jumping into Photoshop or bothering your designer for quick iterations. But here's where things get even more interesting. The second major improvement is you can now reference even more images with your prompts to Nano Banana. Let me show you what I mean. So specifically, this new model can handle us uploading up to 14 images that we reference in our prompt. So here we have 14 of these uh, fluffy Pixar-like uh, characters, and there was the prompt, a medium shot of the 14 fluffy characters sitting squeezed together side by side on a worn beige fabric sofa and on the floor. It continues on there, but you can see that this has absolutely nailed all of those 14 characters, keeping them consistent, these 14 objects or input images, and blended them all into one image. In the previous model, it was sort of saying that up to like three reference images was giving okay results, but now they've really doubled down on this. So here's how it applies to business. Think about complex marketing scenes. Maybe you need an image with your product, a person using it, a lifestyle background, some decorative elements. That's five or six completely different elements that all need to work together. Before you would need a professional photographer and a full production setup. Now you can upload all of those separate elements and Nano Banana Pro can combine them all into one scene. The third major upgrade is that Nano Banana Pro can now connect directly to Google search and pull in information while it's generating your image. And this is huge for one specific use case, infographics. So check this out. Someone just uploaded an image of a plant and gave the prompt to create an infographic about this plant focusing on interesting information. Nano Banana Pro then searched the web and actually found the exact name of this plant, string of turtles, even the scientific name, found out that it was native to Ecuador and gave the full care instructions, creating a factually accurate infographic with all the text in the right place that actually looks pretty good. Even more impressive is this example here, which is a prompt that combines both searching the internet to create an infographic, but also gives the style of how the infographic should be created. So here created DIY infographic with flat lay photography. This one was an infographic for explaining how solar energy works. They asked the model to reference this Wikipedia page. And then the result is 
a infographic that a looks very, very professional is factually sound and all of the text is written the exact correct way. So why is this a big deal? Well, infographics used to require a lot of time to produce because you needed to do both the research and then actually design the thing. Now you can create professional, accurate infographics in seconds. And because it's grounded in real search results, you get incredible content that you can actually use, which brings us to the final upgrade. And this is what makes all of this actually practical. Now the fourth improvement, and this one is massive, is image quality. The old Nano Banana was stuck at such a low resolution that for most business use cases, it made it impossible to use. Nano Banana Pro changes that completely. You now get native 4K resolution, four times sharper than before. And you can choose any aspect ratio, 16 by nine for YouTube thumbnails, nine by 16 for Instagram stories, one by one for LinkedIn, pretty much any size you need which means the images you create are actually ready to use. They're crisp, they're professional, and they're platform ready. So those are the four major upgrades, perfect text combining up to 14 images, Google search grounding, and professional 4K quality in any aspect ratio. But now the important part, how you access this actually matters. So you can already access this new model in the Gemini app, gemini.google.com. We can see the banner here, Nano Banana Pro is now available on Gemini 3 Pro and I can just click try it. I believe this is already uh, available for everyone for free. I'm on a business plan, but let me know in the comments if this is also available for free users. I do believe it is. And here when I click that, uh, they just gave me a, um, like let's say a default prompt, create a comic with the title, getting started with Nano Banana Pro. This is a, a, probably a good way for them to show users what is actually possible with this new model. And here we can see it has flawlessly created this getting started with Nano Banana Pro uh, comic. So now everyone knows how to actually use this thing inside Gemini. What I do wanna point out here, so I'll just remove this. Um, let me start a new chat. What, to access this again, we can go into tools here and create an image. This enables this Nano Banana Pro model if you're using the uh, Gemini 3 Pro model. Now what you'll notice here is you don't get any other options in terms of like aspect ratio or resolution. And for that, we wanna to head to the other place where we can access this model and that's Google AI Studio. So over in Google AI Studio, aistudio.google.com, uh, depending on where you land, you might see a different first interface, but what you wanna do is on the left-hand side, if you head to playground, and then here I can select images. And then we see here Nano Banana Pro new. So I can just click on that one. And now we get into the area where we can start interacting with Nano Banana Pro, but something different about it right now. I don't know if this will always be the case. Right now to use this new Nano Banana Pro model in AI Studio, you do need to link your API key, which means every time you use this model, you'll be consuming credits from your account. So let me go and link my API key. And this is only available if you do have paid billing set up. So we've already got a paid project here. I'm just gonna select my paid project and select one of my API keys and hit select key. And then we can actually get started with prompting. And here you'll see on the right hand side, now we get access to those additional features. So I can select all of the different aspect ratios and we can select 1K, 2K or 4K. So let's go ahead and try that exact same prompt that did not work in the old Nano Banana uh, model. Keep the style of this YouTube thumbnail exactly the same, but change the title text from save hours to ChatGPT agent. I'm going to upload that uh, thumbnail. And YouTube thumbnails, of course, are in 16 by nine, and I want this in 4K quality. And I don't need this one grounded with Google search. So we can really see all the different options are available to us here in the AI studio. But as I said, this is a paid feature and you'll need to connect your API key. So let me run this one. And perfect, here is our image in full K. Let me view the full image. This is looking spot on. Obviously the T is in ChatGBT, so we have done it. Well done, Nano Banana Pro. And here's really why it matters where you're using this model. Of course, I would not be able to get this quality when using the Gemini app, but also every image that you create here on gemini.google.com has this little Gemini watermark in the bottom right, which you do not have when using the paid version in AI Studio, meaning you can download it in 4K in your resolution and actually use this in your business. So I hope you found this video useful and you're excited to go and test out this new model. Now, as I play around more with this model, I'm gonna be releasing a more in-depth video covering the top use cases 
of the new Nano Banana Pro model. If you wanna make sure you're alerted when that video is released, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also give this video a like, it means a lot. And we'll see you in the next one.